Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've noticed one thing, uh, why people are coming to these reviewer channels. Uh, it's because they have listened to an album and they are curious what uh, the reviewers uh, think about it. Uh, they listened and most likely they liked it, so uh, they're upset when the score is like lower than 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. Now we have an album of FKA Twigs that came out in November and uh, she is my... well, yeah, she's one of my favorite new artists. She's making something that I would call avant-pop. I wouldn't really um, label her as alternative R&B. Uh, to me, she's more than that. She was actually trained in classic jazz singing, so she had a lot of musical upbringing, interested in opera, uh, cabaret scene. And it seems like it was her shelter, because uh, she said that she felt pretty secluded, being the only person of color in a very white place. So how about this album Magdalene? That some people say it will be an album of the year, um, some people say it's like overrated or just not as good, not the same style as her old records. Yes, because it is different. Uh, first time I was listening to this when I was uh, uh, going out to, to do the shopping. <laughs> and uh, the first thing I, I heard uh, it was that there were not enough of this... Uh, that uh, there were not enough of these uh, electronic experiments. I, I heard there were some like normal songs, melodies. I saw this uh, at the vlog of Not Real Music, uh, that he paid big attention to the lyrics. And uh, yes, thank you for that, uh, thank you for that tip, because uh, I instantly opened the page with lyrics and, um, and it definitely added uh, to the experience. I also watched an interview with FK8 Weeks, uh, somebody asked her uh, about her impression, uh, how, was, how was she feeling when she was writing these lyrics, and she said, I felt scared and shocked after I read what I wrote, because it, because really the message here is really powerful at some point. It already starts with a very strong uh, lyrical and also uh, musical song, A Thousand Eyes. It was produced by Nicolas Jar, uh, who is, yeah, he's my favorite electronic um, producer these days. Or I don't know how to call him because he's doing this jazz, new jazz electronic stuff. Whatever he touches is basically gold. So uh, she cooperated with him and with Skrillex, out of his big names. Maybe I was underrating Skrillex, but I think he delivers here. Another of my favorite songs here is Fallen Alien, which is also with Nicolas Jar. And this is actually a song with a very interesting electronic take. I believe she said uh, that her favorite part of the album is uh, the bridge and chorus on the set day. Yes, this is also a very good, powerful moment. And uh, then there is the song Holy Terrain with Future, uh, which is probably the most optimistic, the, the only optimistic song on this album, because uh, these other songs are about either breakup or losing hope, or like uh, not getting somebody's forgiveness, or hoping to get it but not really getting it. But this one is about a date that actually may go somewhere, um, about people who are looking to uh, start a future together. I know that for many people this is the worst song on this album, for me too, but it doesn't mean it's bad actually, it's, it's still pretty good. Uh, Future, I think he delivers here. Uh, the problems may be that too, uh, too much is happening here uh, from the musical standpoint. Another of my favorite songs here is uh, Day Bad for the reason of the lyrics. This song, as, as soon as I started hearing it, I knew it would be about depression. And actually, FKA said that she was very sick when she was recording this album. And that she didn't know what was happening with her, because she's like a perfectionist, and other people on the outside didn't even know that uh, she was unwell, and she was pushing herself. And actually, I didn't know how old she, she was. I th uh, she said it was her first uh, like uh, adulthood crisis. So I thought she was like, what, 23, 24? I remember I had like a, a huge problem when I was around that age. Um, but, but no, no, she, she's like 30. So it hit her late. But on the other hand, I was 30 when I had to quit my job also. Um, because I, I was so weak and I also didn't know what was happening to me. I was so dizzy and I could sleep like 15 hours a day. Really, I, I thought I was poisoned with something. So I absolutely love the lyrics uh, here, and particularly the phrase "possessive is my day bed." She totally nailed the idea of uh, how you can feel. 
in that moment. And the, and the Closer Cellophane is also a very strong song, uh, a favorite song of many people. It was actually inspired by a big medieval dress that she bought in LA. Okay, uh, pretty cool. Mm. I would say when you listen to this album you have to focus on the songwriting, you have to uh, judge all of it as a whole. Uh, lyrics, motivation, uh, music, her voice. I will not exaggerate here, I think she is the modern day Kate Bush. Really. So my final opinion is that yes, this is one of the albums of the year. It's absolutely beautiful and I'm totally sure that with the passing time it will be remembered as uh, a very important album uh, as the contemporaries perhaps don't appreciate it as much as uh, we will appreciate it in the, in the future. I mean, all of her work is powerful in a way, but I think as, as a whole this one is the best work of art in general. So this was my opinion. So I will see you next time. Take care and bye.